So I'm here with Joy Agnew, project manager with PAMI, and we're outside of a biodigester, and you guys mm -hmm. just got recognized in Europe for this. Can you tell us about We that? did. Uh, a delegate or a colleague of mine from PAMI presented a poster describing this project at the European Biomass Conference in Copenhagen, Denmark. And there were over 600 posters on display and 50 in the category of anaerobic digestion. And our poster was chosen to win the award in the anaerobic digestion category, which is quite significant because Anaerobic digestion is very popular and common in Europe, and to have a Canadian project recognized at an international conference in that topic was spectacular. So we're very proud of this project. So what set you guys aside from the rest? Of I have no idea. <laughs> um, really great yeah, well, it was well designed and it was well laid out, and but I think the information is is important and, and informative because solid state anaerobic digestion, um, even in Europe, isn't that common. There's only probably a hand or maybe a dozen solid state digesters in operation. And so th the fact that we're able to do evaluations of different operating parameters like inoculation method and retention time and everything else is probably even interesting for the European crowd because I don't think they've been able to do that level of research yet. So you're talking about solid state digestion. What's going into this biodigester right now? Solid materials. So solid feedlot, materi solid feedlot manure is going in right now, but it can handle any solid feedstock, any solid organic material so cull potatoes or dead stock or um, food and vegetable waste or straw or switchgrass like any kind of solid material that's organic can go into this digester and produce biogas. And so what all is coming out of this biodigester? We're getting biogas which is energy rich in, in including 60 to 65 percent methane and then digestate which is basically the solid byproduct that comes out in the end. So what comes out actually looks very similar to what goes in except it's darker, wetter usually and uh, its nutrients have been transformed a little bit. So basically what goes in comes out except you're getting biogas in the interim. Okay, so it's a good compost? Yes, while well, it's actually even probably better than compost. Um, the nutrients are more stable and uh, pathogen reduction and weed seed reduction is also evident during digestion as well. But you do not get any volume reduction so we often recommend a composting process after digestion to reduce that volume. And do you see any, like you were mentioning, dead stock? Mm -hmm. uh, is there any work being done on prions for BSE and dead stock? It's a good question. Not at solid state digestion. There's some research, I know overseas and research in southern Alberta, looking at the potential of liquid digestion to um, eliminate or reduce the prions in dead stock. And it does work in most cases. So the CFIA is actually regulating anaerobic digestion on a case-by-case -case basis as a suitable way to dispose of dead stock. But no one has done an evaluation on solid state digestion for dead stock disposal yet. So we will be doing some dead stock digestion trials uh, probably next year. We have done some bench scale trials actually already with uh, carcass material. We weren't able to get any SRM material. It was all, it was basically the hind quarter of a cow. So it was the, the uh, muscle, bone, um, fat and the hide of the cow went into our bench scale digester which is exactly the same as this except smaller scale and we have 18 little vessels so we can do scientific evaluations. So we did some carcass dead stock digestion uh, this past spring and it digested wonderfully. Uh, even the bone material disintegrated and it was not recognizable by the end of it and it produced probably 10 times the amount of biogas as manure alone. Wow. So you get more biogas, you get a nice product in the end and you get a way to dispose dead stock. So it's triple win. Right. And do you see this as a small scale project? Like, Will that ever be feasible? Uh, probably not. Uh, the capital costs required to build something like a, a solid state digester or even a liquid digester are so large that it's really only feasible for large scale implementations. So that could be a large farm or a large biorefinery or it could be a situation where you have uh, farms collaborating to bring their waste to a single centralized facility possibly. But um, you wouldn't see a digester on a farm, a small farm. Alone.